Cornell, it's been five months already since you've been here. Where did the time go? You know, it was such a great experience having you here with us. And it's the first time we have had an intern from all the way in Tanzania. So how has it been here in your new home, Grenada? Oh, the experience here has been nice for me because um, when I was in Costa Rica, before I came here, yeah, I was having a like in a plan in my mind like to visit in, among the Caribbean countries so that I can experience that um, uh, to see the African descendants like to try to connect some dots in right. my mind according to the history that we've been studying. Right. Uh -huh. So that's why I'm, I had different opportunities but I said let me just go to the Caribbean so that I can see the African descendants and have the experience like how they do things and yeah. Good. So, has it been a good experience for you? Yeah, sure. It has been a real nice experience to see people. Sometimes I see people here that look alike, like people that I saw them at home. So right, right. You feel like I'm at home. You're at home. Well, you are at home and you're part of our family here at Belmont Estate. And uh, you were the first intern that came to us from Earth University. Um, so, what has that be experience been like using your knowledge and experience from Earth University and applying it here for your internship at Belmont Estate? Well, the experience um, has been nice to collaborate with people uh, in the farm, in the different departments to share my knowledge because Belmont Estate has given me like a platform for me to, to analyze myself, to sit down and say um, the knowledge that I have is valid, you know. Because sometimes when you have the knowledge, but you, you need the platform so that you can right. apply the, the knowledge and to to make, test it yeah, out. Yeah, mm -hmm. to make your, yeah, your knowledge to be valid. You know? Right. So uh, Belmont is a really nice place that has given me the resources uh, to apply the knowledge and uh, prove myself that the knowledge that I had were useful knowledge. I'm happy to hear that. So tell us about some of the projects you worked on while you were here. So when I came here, the first uh, objective was to improve the fermentation area uh -huh. so that uh, because the fermentation of cocoa is where the uh, qualities of chocolate is the special flavor how it smells and stuff like that like all start from the fermentation right so the main thing for me to come here was to start to see what can we do with fermentation what can we improve uh, so that we can increase the quality of fermentation and the drying so that have the, the chocolate that has the unique characteristics. Right. Mm -hmm. And another part is the, the part of waste management. Because Bel Belmonte Estate is having different departments and even the community itself generates waste. So as part of sustainability, uh, uh, the Belmonte Estate has the role of doing something towards the waste that is generated. So that's why when I came here, I had to work on the barriers. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. the barrier just as this is then uh, uh, is a system I can say um, that uh, take the organic waste from the restaurants and different areas. Then you uh, you pass them through the process called the anaerobic fermentation uh, inside the barrier just so that we can generate gas. So like we're trying to get something out of waste. Good, and you have been successful in getting that started for us again. So we're really excited so that we can one, use the organic waste coming out of that as compost and also the um, biogas so that we can cook and decrease our, our cost of um, fuel and also to, um, to be more sustainable in our practices here. So we're really excited about that. I know that you also did some work with, with drying and improving our drying protocols here as well. Mm -hmm. And also you did training for the staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was really nice for me to, uh, to collaborate with the staff, uh, especially to share them my knowledge about the, how to apply the scientific mm -hmm. uh, information into real life, like how can we apply it in our activities that we do especially in the fermentation area mm -hmm. or in, in making vinegar uh, like how to use the pH meter how to use the thermometer what's the importance of taking temperature like knowing the pH because those are the main things that um, 
help us to know and maintain the quality of what we produce. Absolutely, those protocols are okay. so important mm -hmm. to achieving good results. So. Yes, and I know that the staff really enjoyed learning from you, but they also enjoyed getting to know you as well. So how was your social life here and the interaction with the staff? Did you make new friends? Did you make friends for life? I know that you're part of our family now, so <laughs> you're part of us for life for sure. But how was your life here at Belmont? Yeah, the life was good, um, though I did not be able to to build uh, myself much into the social life because I was so busy with the project. Just too much work. <laughs> Sometimes you are stressed with the project and you mm -hmm. try to make things happen. And, right. But if we had time uh, to sit down and talk, have conversation, making each other happy. That was really nice for me. And I think I'll, I'll be remembering the people of Belmont. And that. so we will always remember you. You know, you have put your footprints here at Belmont Estate and you will remain with us forever. So it's um, just a few days until we say goodbye to you. <laughs> so we're looking forward to finalizing all the various projects and winding down. I mean, we're not looking forward to saying goodbye to you, but we hope that you'll come back and uh, spend some time with us again at another time. And of course, we hope that you'll encourage your colleagues, your friends from Earth University to come here and um, participate in our internship. So any recommendations for friends? Yeah, sure. Friends? I would recommend the people to come here, especially my, um, my fellow students from S University. Yeah, so that they can come here and apply the knowledge that they have. They're uh, mostly a good place that will give them a platform and the resources, um, plus people, uh, supportive people that will make them apply their knowledge and bring the impact to the community. Good. Thank you so, so very much, Cornell. We just loved having you here and we're grateful for all that you contributed to us while you're here. And most of all, for that bond of friendship, you know, you so and much. kinship that we formed. We wish you all the best for the future. We know that you're going to go on to do great things and make um, a great impact in the world. So continue on your path and may God bless you in every way. Congratulations. You so <laughs> you're going to be getting your certificate soon. And thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>